So before law, I worked in government policy and I really enjoyed that. I liked sort of the macro level problem solving that came with policy, but I missed the day to day human interaction. And so I saw law as a nice way to sort of transition and build on policy experience, but work with clients in a day to day setting and do problem solving at that sort of more individual level. So services that I provide from clients is a real range at sort of the most basic level. It can be reviewing a contract before you sign your employment contract, or if you have a severance package, reviewing it to make sure that you are getting everything that you should be getting in that package. And then also sort of more complicated files like looking at human rights claims if you're facing some sort of discrimination or harassment in the workplace. It could be looking at a termination if you are going to lose your job, making sure that you're getting what you're entitled to and making sure that the employer is holding up their legal obligations to you. My favorite thing about practicing law day to day is the problem solving nature. So in some cases, it's a easy problem to solve and we're able to sort of come up with a solution quite quickly. And in other cases, it can be a very thorny legal issue and we're having to sort of untangle the legal web and also making sure that we're coming up with a solution that works for someone practically in their life with where they're at in their career. Um, where they're at in their personal life, all of those considerations. So emotionally, when clients come in, often in labor and employment law, they're feeling a little bit stressed. Something has maybe gone wrong in the employment relationship, and that can be very isolating. You may be dealing with something that your colleagues aren't dealing with or that your partner doesn't quite understand. And so there's a lot of stress that comes from that and uh, real feelings of sort of isolation and loneliness. So my hope when clients leave, or at least once we've met and, and sort of gone over things, is, th is that they feel some sense of relief, that they have an understanding of what rights they have, they have an understanding of their options, and an understanding of the, the path forward. And I hope that you know I can assist them on that journey and that they don't feel quite as lonely in that process. I always like clients to know that they can ask me any questions that they want. Uh, you know, there's, there's the saying that people use that there's no such thing as a bad question and in the law it's really true. You can ask any question and if you don't understand my answer you can ask me again and I can explain it using different terms. It's really important that you understand what's going on and I want you to understand what's going on. And the other thing is that sometimes it feels like things move quickly. Uh, and we can always slow things down, sort of put the brakes on, make sure that you're comfortable with what's happening uh, and not get too far ahead of ourselves. A story that kind of reminds me of why I got into this profession is a situation where a client had signed a contract and uh, they were then in an employment relationship that became unsafe for them. Uh, they were facing a lot of discrimination and harassment and they needed to sort of get out of that situation. So I helped them to negotiate something with the employer where they were able to leave that place of employment and sort of have a fresh start. And, you know, it reminds me a little bit of the quote from Annie Dillard that how we spend our days is, of course, how we spend our lives. And we spend, you know, maybe eight hours, maybe more of <laughs> five days a week in a job. And it should be a place that feels safe and where you feel valued. And if that's not the case, then come see a lawyer. <laughs> sure, so an interesting or funny quirky thing that a lot of people don't know is that I grew up on one of the Gulf Islands in BC, which meant that I actually took a ferry to high school every day. And there's a bit of a, you know, a saying on the island that the ferry waits for no one. So as a result, I, I'm always on time because the ferry waits for no one.